Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to display grid view row details inside jQuery model pop-up in ASP.NET. Before moving ahead, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. So let's start. We'll start by adding a grid view control. Now I am adding columns to the grid view. I will be adding 3 bound field columns and 1 template field column. Here I am making use of item style CSS class property to set a CSS class to the grid view column. The purpose of doing the same is to reference the particular column when the link button is clicked using jQuery. Now I am adding a link button. When this link button will be clicked, the jQuery model pop-up will be displayed with the grid view row details. Now our grid view is ready. Let's move to the code behind. Now I am adding a namespace system.data. I'll be making use of dynamic data table to populate the grid view. Now inside the page load event handler, I am writing the if not is post back condition. Now first I am creating a data table object. Now I am adding columns to the data table. It will be same columns what we have already defined in the grid view. The grid view can also be populated from database but in this example it is not a requirement and hence I am making use of a dynamic data table. Now I am adding some rows to the data table. Now the rows have been added. Now I'll assign the data table to the grid view. And call the data bind method. Now the population part is ready. Let's run the code and see it. The grid view is populated 
and it is showing the data. Now let's move to the second part where we'll assign a click event handler to the link button and show the jQuery model pop-up. So first I'm adding an HTML div. This HTML div will be used as a jQuery model pop-up. Now inside this div, I'm adding some fields. Basically, these are the fields from the grid view itself. So what I'll be doing, I'll be first fetching the grid view row details, like the values of the column. And then those values will be displayed inside this jQuery dialog. And hence these fields are being used. Now you can see I have inherited some files. These are the script and CSS files required by the jQuery UI plugin, which will be used for displaying the jQuery model pop-up. Now I'm adding script tags so that I can write down my jQuery code. Now here you can see I'm making use of document on function to assign the click event handler to the link button inside the grid view. The link button or to be specific, I can say that all the controls inside the grid view change their IDs as the controls are being repeated for each row. And hence I'm making use of a wildcard feature of jQuery selector. So here I am explaining some important things about jQuery and grid view. So first thing you need to understand that grid view control is rendered as an HTML table inside the browser. So since jQuery is a client side script which runs inside the browser, we need to reference or see the grid view as an HTML table only. Let's say here if you can see I want to fetch the ID field value. So what I am doing, I am first referencing the button which was clicked using the dollar this function and then I am finding its closest TR using the closest function. Closest TR means its closest parent row of the HTML table and then I am finding its child element with the class ID. This way I am able to reference the cell which has the CSS class ID. Same way I am doing for name. And same way I am doing for description. The next thing is to apply the jQuery dialog plugin to the HTML div and set its property. So the first property is title and the next one is buttons. So here I am adding the first button OK for which I am setting the function which means when I am clicking OK what will it do? So here I am executing the command to close the jQuery dialog. The next property is model for which I am setting the value true, which means the background will be blocked when the jQuery model pop-up is displayed. Finally, I am retaining false so that it does not run any server side code or do postback. So that's it. The jQuery part is also completed. Let's run the code and check it. So now I'll click on the view button. As you can see, the jQuery pop-up is displaying the details of the grid bureau. So with this, we come to the end of this video. The demo and the source code links are available in the description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. See you soon.